Jens Ola Christensen creating a lot of interest with his four-wheel drive turbocharged supercar, very much the car of the moment, the turbocharged Peugeots, and he'll go into second place in the early stages of the event. Number two is Jan van der Marel. Also going well will be just one second behind second place man Jens Ola Christensen with his Peugeot. And the rally very much a mixture of tarmac stages and gravel stages. And it's a relatively fast rally with those 26 special stages all taking place within 15 hours. So the Dutch national championship leader with his Opel Manta 400, a car similar to that of Russell Brooks, was Russell on the British Open series for 1985 with the Opel Manta 400, still only in two-wheel drive guys, of course, the Opals and a, a venerable rally car. Number four goes through. That's the Opel Manta 400 of Henk Vossen, entered by the Opel dealer Team Holland. Very little to choose between Van der Marl and Henk Vossen. In fact, after three special stages, they were tying for that third spot. So just one second covering second to fourth spot after three special stages and pretty close rallying here as we wait for the ever spectacular and loud John Bosch with his Audi Quattro, the ex-works car. And after three special stages we were to find the four-wheel drive car was to be in the lead, the young John Bosch going quickly in the early morning light. Here the stage is held around Falkenberg and as you can see, John Bosch trying very hard indeed in these early stages of the rally. The four-wheel drive car definitely being an advantage in these sort of special stages. And uh, it's mildly raining at the moment, a little flash to our cameraman, as John Bosch goes through spraying everybody with the mud. It's not raining hard, it's just a little bit of rain coming down, but uh, the four-wheel drive of the Audi obviously proving a distinct advantage and after three special stages John will be 22 seconds in the lead. So it's the Baron Audi team that lead as Bosch loses a little bit of time there. But one man who will lose a lot of time before the third special stage will be Jürgen Hansen with his Opel Ascona 400. One of the leading Dutch drivers, he'll be down after three special stages in 43rd position so he'll have a real fight on his hands. 